Lord, we ask your blessing on this performance. We ask you to continue to bless our students, both on stage and off stage. Bless our audience, bless our invited guests. Make all who have made this show one to remember. Bless them in all their daily lives. We ask this as we ask all things through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord is risen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. <laughs> you get this little stuff. Okay. Where are those photographers? Oh, excuse me. Good afternoon, Sister Mark, Father LaPointe, and fellow students. Welcome to the SMSJ drama presentation of Harry Tell Rock, written by Charlie Lovett, music and lyrics by Bill Francoeur, produced by special arrangement with Pioneer Drama, drama Services Incorporated, Eaglewood, Colorado. We hope you enjoy the program. There will be a five minute intermission between scenes five and six. And look for me, I'm Paprika, a celebrity. Bye. Deep in a forest, 
in a meager cabin made of dirt and wood, lies a family scratching the earth to feed their malnourished children. They Look! The peasants live over there. The enchanted tower is back there. The royal family lives over there, and the wild wood is where we are standing, and the story starts now. Come on, let's get out of here. But I've already written a lovely sonnet about the hairy children. Hello? Yeah, I'm going to need those documents. You'll have to fax them to, to another part of the forest. Oh, Mother, I'm so tired of working in the fields. When I grow up, I want to be something other than a peasant. If only your father thought that way. But I'm afraid he'll never be anything but a peasant. I'd like to be a civil engineer, or maybe an archaeology professor. But Mother, you can't blame Father. Isn't the whole point of the peasant class that you can never be anything but a peasant? Son, even if we lived in a democratic society, instead of a feudalistic oligarchy, your father would still find a way to be nothing but a peasant. <laughs> Family, I have brought you a nice bucket of mud for dinner. Father, is it true that you only ever wanted to be a peasant? Personally, I'd like to be an acupuncturist to write Harlequin romances. You don't know how lucky you are to be a peasant, son. Personally, I miss the good old days. The good old days? Back when you really had to work hard as a peasant. Are you saying we don't work hard? Things are too easy nowadays. Well, like only having to work 20 hours a day and have all the dirt you can eat. Yeah, it's luxury. Indeed it is. Of course, when I was young, we had it rough. Or 24 hours a day, food on our on to Thursdays, and no dental plans. <laughs> Those are the good old days. Gee, thanks for the history lesson, Dad. And for this delicious looking dinner. I got an eviction notice for the peasant family. Is that you? An eviction notice? Don't tell me the evil queen is going to turn us out of our hovel. Okay, I won't tell you. So who's the eviction notice from? The evil queen. She's going to turn you out of your hovel. I told you not to tell me. I didn't tell you. I told him. <laughs> well, when do we have to be out? It says here we have three days to come from the back front room. We must vacate the premises. How much do we owe? 500 ducats. That will be hard to raise. Especially since which would under ooze uses the euro now? That and the fact that we're impoverished peasants with no hope and improving our lot in life. Shall I deliver that message to the evil queen? Not yet. We still have three days to come up with the background. Well, let me know when you want to write back. I can even get a message delivered to Witchwood when you absolutely have to have it there overnight. Isn't that Federal Express? Well, we deliver it for you. Isn't that the Postal Service? Fine. Use UPS when you want a big brown truck to come up to your driveway. <laughs> That's your slogan. <laughs> well, I guess it like, looks like we better start looking for a way to raise 500 ducats. Do you think we could be turned out of our hovel? We'll be just like when I was a boy. What you happy memories. When we were young, now that's a story to be spoken. Struggling to survive, and there was nothing to be good. And now that we're old and years, you might say old and broken. We look back on those best sometimes, and never will forget. Now again. Gonna live peasant pad Side by side with snow the lot the little space we had We was living a lot in a world now we were right invested on the chickens and the pigs, fourteen cats and a flea bit Those were the good old days living all together Chickens and pigs and fourteen cats and a mangy mud. It was pure bliss. Bro, and there 
they are split discipline in our house too. When we are bad, we can expect a whooping, and if Paul's trying to whoop us, we make us whoop ourselves. And we ain't hold back neither. We always give ourselves a big old when I'm Paul did. Are you
see you again. Have you taken any good pictures lately? Oh, yes. You know that guy who went Jeopardy something like a thousand times in a row? Did you get him? No, but I did get some really good pictures of his man with his dog sunbathing. <laughs> I saw those on the cover of Woodward People, the 50 most intriguing dogs issue. Very nice work. Oh, thank you, my friend. So, what brings you to the forest? I have a tip that a major celebrity will be appearing here. That's funny. I've got the same tip. Here I am, guys. Can you believe it's me? There she is. Hey, Rapunzel, over here, flash us a smile. We have a brief statement to read for the press. Who is the fella? I'm Rapunzel's brother, Bill. And I just want everyone to know that I support my sister 100%. This stuff, huh? Hey, what about me? I'm famous too. Do you have any idea who I am? At approximately 8 o'clock this morning, my brother and I were issued the following ultimatum by our father. I'll try to read it as it was given. Ahem. If you two don't get a haircut, I'm kicking you out of my house right now. <laughs>
I gotta run. I want to sell these pictures to the Witchwood Star. Wait, I saw the I'm going to sell my pictures to the Witchwood Star. Take my picture, take my picture. All of you exclusive. Well, sister, do you think true love will ever find us in this tower? I sure hope so. There's nothing in the fridge but Brussels sprouts, asparagus, and orange marmalade. Lack, I'd rather eat a, bu a bucket of mud. Chairman, I get to call 
the committee to order. But I am the chairman of the subcommittee. Excuse me, everybody! Oh, yeah, what is it? My sister and I have been banished to the loneliness of the Wildwood. Yeah, and it's kind of hard to be lonely with all you people around. So would you mind reading?
dish, did issue this decree, that without sacrifice, no noble love should be. Can I call you back? I thought I told you to change clothes. We're not in mourning, nor do colored costumes lack. So then why should I dress in boy black? What are you doing? Are you talking in rhyme? Is that a crime? Look, no. Change your clothes and don't talk me in rhyme. Understand? Sorry about this, folks. You know how hard it is to find good narrators these days. They like the rhymes just fine. I'll deal with you later. Look, ladies and gentlemen, all you need to know is that the new rules of Dr. Ross Subcommittee on the three R fairy tales are now applied. Oh. Uh -huh. 
Fame is so much more rewarding than money. Well, do you have enough money to buy an iPod, a flat panel TV, a portable DVD player, and a new iMac? How much does all that stuff cost? 452 and a third And no real celebrity would be without fancy electronics. Let's see what I have. In here. I have five beans. Five beans? Do you know how much all this stuff would cost at Best Buy? Well, they might be magic beans. They might be? Hang on, Elton. Magic beans sell on eBay for a hundred ducats a piece. We can sell the beans and make more than enough money to pay the rent. If you're really magic. What choice have we got? We only have one day left until the evil queen turns us out. So, it's a deal? It's a deal. Come on, I'll show you where the stuff is. A flat panel TV. That proves I'm a celebrity. <laughs> No, the tower I'm looking for has some people living in it. This just has some vines growing from it. These ain't vines. Check this out. Ow! What was that for? Your pizza's here. The pizza's here. Do they put extra pickles on it? Extra pickles and double peanut butter? That will be 22 ducats. Just put it on that Witchwood Express card. And would you like to include a tip? <laughs> yeah. Here's a tip. Never let your parents get involved in your hair care. Gee, thanks. I'm sure I'll find that so helpful. <laughs> but, hey, wait. We can't reach a pizza from up here. Oh, yeah, Apple. Here's a tip for you. People who live in Enchanted Tower shouldn't order pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody told her that his name was Bill. 
Just because I'm in the middle of a call doesn't mean I can't hear you rhyming, you know. <laughs> Loyal subjects. And rebels, dear. You don't want to offend the rebels. Do we have any rebels? Well, just in case. Very well. Loyal subjects and disloyal rebels. Kina Edwin and I are pleased to announce that our bride children have been sent to the wild woods until they find the true meaning of love. And of true sacrifice, which means we won't be seeing them for a few years. And and since we are for decorating for our governmental purposes, do oh, governmental purposes. Yeah, since we are decorating for our governmental purposes, we'd appreciate it if all of you would find for fall in love with our bratty children. That shouldn't be too hard. So even if they beg you to love them, even if they sing songs under your window about needing your love, do, do not listen. Oh dear, you forgot them. Oh yes, this message has been brought to you by Witchwood's Fairy Tale Burgers. Char grilled burgers that are so good they're fictional. And ladies and gentlemen, as far as our children are concerned, the Queen and I are finally, most definitely, and not for a moment regrettably, empty Exhausting. <laughs> it's not holding it, but it's holding it still. still. You know? It's like this would be easy. Five magic beads. 
things. You're right. I don't, Bully. Are you crazy? One of my mom's friends has a country club so that she would give us three hundred ducats just for the TV. But we can sell the beans on eBay for five hundred ducats. And how do you propose that we sell them on eBay now that you sold your computer? Oh, I didn't.
don't worry yourself. I got an awesome ritual plan for the end of the story. Hmm? Is it the one where you build a big bonfire and everybody paints their faces blue? Or the one where you put your left foot in and you shake it all about? You just have to wait and see. But trust me, the wolf will deliver. Hey, that's my job. Relax, Lou. It's just an expression. Okay, but if you need me, I'm... You know, you're in the shrubbery. 24 hours a day at thousands of shrubberies, kingdom one. <laughs> <laughs>